guys, welcome to uh, Primetime Kitchen's How Tuesday. This is episode 42, and tonight we're making stuffed bell peppers. And the reason why we're doing this is because summer is coming. That means the kids are going to be out. You want stuff that you can make quick, fast, so you can kind of maximize that summer fun. The cool thing about stuffed bell peppers, like a lot of times, like last week when we made shepherd's pie, make an extra one. While you're doing this process, make a few of these extra and freeze them because these things come back to life in the oven with like little or no work and they maintain the flavor and they have a really good freezer life. Uh, two, three weeks a month, easily, if you seal them up real nice. Um, we do have some really interesting stuff. If you look over to my left, you'll see this jar full of pasta. Yeah. So what we, want, what we want you guys to do is this. We're gonna do a lot of this coming up. We're gonna be doing some prize giveaways here on the show. Uh, what we want you to do is go to PTK Radio dot com backslash contest and register there and the cool thing is it's just your email address we're not going to spam you but what we are going to do is we're going to have a lot of this contesting where you can win cool prizes shoe knives tickets to cool shows As a matter of fact this contest right here this is a live contest you put your best guess on how many pieces of pasta are in there right pull it over in front of you so they can see kind of how big it is ah! <laughs> That's why I got it. So, right, I can so you can like, see it's pretty darn big, right? It's got a giant. Of wine this, I actually drank four beers out of this today. So you guess, you register, and once you're registered, the cool thing is, is now you're registered for all of our contesting. So basically, you log in, you put your guess out, we take the closest guest, and you're going to get two tickets to Orlando Magazine's Foodie Awards. Tori and I are going, Heather and uh, her husband are going. It's gonna be a massive event with great food, great drink, and we're all gonna be able to mingle around and hang out together. So again, ptkradio.com backslash contest. You guess how many pieces of pasta are in that, and you send your guess, and the closest one, uh, by next week, or we're going to do the week after? No, we're going to, no, because the Foodie Awards are, is next Thursday. Oh, so next Thursday. So, so we'll pick our winner next Tuesday right here on Primetime Kitchen's How Tuesday. Yeah. And we'll tell you who it is, and then, of course, we can hook up and give you your tickets, and uh, you can come join us, because uh, we have some cool stuff coming up with those guys in just a little bit. Also, another thing going hold, on. Hold on. Yes. Jeremy, you can't guess on here, buddy. Yeah, you, yeah. you got to go to ptkradio.com. Jimmy, why do you have a glittery... Apron on. Oh, because this is when we uh, <laughs> uh, use the website. Um, <laughs> when we did the show with Gloria Gaynor, uh, these are the bedazzled aprons we use for that very special broadcast, which you can actually see at ptkradio.com. Uh, we want to get started pretty quickly. I want to tell you a couple things. I'm Jim. That's my wife, Tori. Hey, hey. Welcome to the show for the BDMs out there. Touching tips. Touching tips with you fools. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, like I said, we're going to make these great stuffed peppers. Now, <clears throat> stuffed peppers are another great dish like shepherd's pie. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you the basis of how you do it. And man, put in chorizo. You can use turkey meat for this to keep it really my way. This is a great dish for guys who are watching their weight. Because here's the thing, you really don't have to put the rice in there. Are you watching your weight? God almighty damn, will you just let me do my thing? Will you? I feel like it's a legitimate question. And everybody's saying you have a stripper apron. <laughs> you have a stripper glitter apron on. I have a Toyota Corolla with one red door and a busted cell phone cover. No, no. Uh, so uh, use anything you want. Like I said, you can put sausage and hamburger. We're going to use hamburger tonight. We're going to do a pretty traditional preparation. But look, man, put whatever you want in these damn things. Make sure you're loading up a bell pepper. You're going to bake it with a bunch of fun stuff inside. You can leave the rice out and use that cauliflower rice. So again, for guys who are watching your weight. We ain't using no damn cauliflower rice. No, we're not. Rice. We're using long grain. It's terrible. Uh, also, big thanks to our sponsor, Wassie's Meats. Thank you guys. Both. We appreciate that very much. Also, our new relationship with the guys over at Goldsmith Jewelry and Mike Oliver Holmes. Mother's Day's coming up. Goldsmith Jewelry on Lee Road. Known these guys for 25 years. They're awesome. Tori's wedding band. Tori's Florida Leah had handmade there. If you're looking for a great gift for mom, you will find it at Goldsmith Jewelry. 407-297-8000. GoldsmithJewelry.com. Also, uh, what Tapaturo. So this killer Spanish tapas restaurant out on I Drive, right by the I. Tapaturo. We're going to be out there May 24th. And guys, this is going to be an awesome How many party. eyes do you have? Huh? How many eyes do you have? What do you mean? I don't know. Well, you said, oh, because I said Orlando I? Mm -hmm. And you thought that was worthy of interrupting. It was not. But it, how many? Well, <laughs> I just have a couple. <laughs> and these horrible eyebrows. It's the worst ever. Uh, Tapatura is going to be a blast. We're doing a brunch gig there, right? A brunch gig is going to be incredible. Their brunch menu, bottomless like mimosas, and it's going to be one price. Come in, have a great time. Games, mm -hmm. prizes, mm -hmm. flamenco dancers. 
It's like that Bill Hader sketch, Stefan. We've got midgets that have sombreros. You're so uh, good at that. Okay, everybody wants to see like the noodles. Okay. While you're talking, so That's I'm gonna okay. do this. After I interrupt you again. Yeah. But I love interrupting you. Hey, can we just pour you some more wine? I do. Because <laughs> eventually we're gonna have to cook something. Because we're doing nothing right now except drinking and talking. Um, they're questioning your hunts can. My what? Your hunts can. Hunts. H U. Oh. Oh. You gotta be very careful. Uh, I'm using just hunts tomatoes. What's the big deal? You can use real tomatoes if you want. Oh, by the way, uh, Carrie Engler was nice enough to send us some Jaffa cakes from England, and did we try these yet? No. Let's try them. It's time no, to try them. No, why do we have these? Okay, so I put on um, Primetime Kitchen's Facebook page, I put this guy like eight, 200 of them. 200 of these? Yes, like one right after another after another, within like so many minutes. It why, was are disgusting. They that, are they that good? I don't know, we're, we're about to find out. Has anybody else had a Jaffa cake out there? I, I don't know, we'll have see. Have you guys had a Jaffa cake? Let me see, what, I I don't want one. No, you're, you're eating one. <laughs> Trust me, if I'm eating a Jaffa cake, you're eating a Jaffa cake. Now look, it's like a spongy cookie with a chocolate topping. What's supposed to be the magic about this? I, I don't know. This guy ate a ton of them. I never heard of them before, and she had them shipped in from the UK. It's a jelly lover cookie. It says jelly lover. Do you love the jelly? Well, here's the thing. You have to, because <laughs> I'm mostly jelly. Oh. You ready? Yeah. Oh, Tori. says they suck. I can't. It's not going to mix Tori, well. Tori, I'm not eating it if you don't. Okay. Okay, good. Show stops right here. We just go off the air. Ready? One, One two, two, three. Jaffa cake. Oh, you are such an <laughs> asshole. Oh my God, that's awful. <laughs> oh, John said they're the best. My wife's from England and they get them. How, how that, you know what? Taste? That explains it. <laughs> the English, of course, known for their cuisine. <laughs> well, awful. good enough to eat mm. the whole thing. Well, it's terrible, but at least it's dry and terrible. But thanks, Carrie. We appreciate it. <laughs> Carrie Engler, I really appreciate that so much. You're awesome. That's awesome. I oh. love it. Also, send, send us more food. We'll feed Jimmy. Uh, so what are we doing in June? Um, June, we are having the brunch, but in May, May no. 24th, we are... That's the brunch. No. No? Okay. Uh, May 24th oh. is the Bear and Peacock. You're right. 100%. Bear and Peacock in Winter Park, the Brew Stillery. We think these guys are going to do something cool with us, but here, May 24th, we're starting... A primetime kitchen trivia night mm -hmm. at the Bear and Peacock in Winter Park. It is really easy to find. Right off 1792, they have tons of great beer. Yep. We're going to be there doing trivia questions, prizes, games, just having a big blowout. So join us. That's May 24th at the Bear and Peacock. The Tapatura gig is June 24th. Yeah, it is. Uh, Mark that on your calendar. Robbie said that the Wellington is good. The um, Wellington is And good. that's from the UK. Yes, yeah, so you're right, it is. So we're going to keep this up here because we always have to repeat what we're cooking for okay. new newbies, new joiners. All right. So this is going to eliminate that. All what right. Do think? What do you say we get going? I feel like you need a bowl, but I'm okay. A bowl of what? Well, so you can mix all the stuff. Have you ever thought about making haggis? No, I'm not making haggis. <laughs> why you know not? why? Because I can't really get a sheep's stomach. Yeah, you can. Patty's, we can get it from No, I cannot get a sheep's stomach. Oh. You know that's what that is. It's a stuffed sheets sheep, and I think they use the organ meat, understand like this. the kidneys and liver, and then chop it up and then stuff it back into the stomach and bake it. Ryan Holmes loves bell peppers, stuffed okay. bell peppers. Awesome. Um, I will never eat anything named haggis because if it's not identified in the name, in other words, if it doesn't I don't say it. beef right. haggis or chicken haggis, it's just a name you've never heard of. Yeah, I won't. I won't do that. It's not, no. I'm not interested in that. Usually I would rag on you for that mentality, uh -huh. but I'm going to side with you this time. Okay, go. Okay, good. So we're waiting for a pan to heat up so we can saute our brown, our ground beef. Now, like always, I use 80-20 ground beef because it gives me a good fat content. Now, it's weird. They tell you to drain the fat off in this dish. We're going to see how much we get. We're going to drain a little off, but we're going to use the beef fat to saute our onions. Thanks, Jeremy. And our garlic and our zucchini. Then we're just gonna add some tunas. This is a very, very simple dish. It really is, guys. As a matter of fact, we're gonna have some oven time, a little cheese on top. But the cool thing is, like I said, it's all inclusive and you can make a bunch of these and then freeze them off for a little bit later. Um, they said tripe. Tripe is the lining of a cow's stomach. Mm. It looks like, it looks like, a, you ever seen cheesecloth? This guy just said Scottish eggs are from England. Oh, uh, they could be. You know what a Scottish egg is? Well, isn't it Scottish? 
Well, I mean, I think you could probably say that, but I don't know. It could be from England. You know, they're all in that new area. Uh, it's, it's a, it's basically a boiled egg with sausage wrapped around it and then deep fried. I know. I ate that not knowing that the sausage was at in the bull and bush. Ooh. Yeah, you're not a sausage Ooh. fan, which is weird. I am not. Well, you can make it taste like sausage. Mm. Mm. I don't know if you could or not. And by the way, Tori's drinking a decoy Pinot Noir, which we like a lot, mm -hmm. on sale. Well, Sam's has it for like 20 bucks a bottle. Yep. And I'm drinking good old Highlight. Okay. Can't get away from Highlight, can't really. That's one of the, my IPA go-to. I love Highlight. All right, so our hamburger meat, like I said, we're gonna make a bunch of this, this filling. Can you make bacon stuffed bell peppers? You can put bacon in this for sure. And you know, I'm glad somebody said something. By the way, you guys are welcome to comment. Tori's gonna read more comments as we kind of interact a little bit together. Um, if you ever stop talking, you talk so much, I just have to interrupt you. You never like pause. Todd Bishop said that he loves sausage. He's gay. <laughs> he is. I know, but is that a joke? Or is he, it is. Is he, is he making a statement about his He's desires standing. or is he talking about his stomach? <laughs> I, feel, I feel that it's his desires more so much than the stomach. But he's saying you don't make your own stock? Uh, no, I don't. Or I have it a lot. Um, and thanks for calling me out on that. Hey, no problem. Very cool. Um, they also tell you, hey, you put a little, little oil in the pan. I mean, I don't like that. The reason why is because the, the, the beef has a lot of fat in it. It's really fun. Okay. This is going to cook really fast, so I feel like you should be over here doing this. So you can take a little Okay. Why do you feel like you have to do my job? What do you feel? You're, are you taking my man Somebody over me? Somebody just said that they're disappointed in you. Why? I Because I, I didn't make my own stock? I couldn't read it fast enough. Aww. You do understand I have like 45 radio shows. Like You're I, fine. And yeah. then Lisa calls you a radio guy. <laughs> a radio guy? Yeah. I guess I am a radio guy, right? You are. Isn't that, I mean, that's a fair. Uh, they want to know if your shirt is the Bald Olympics. Um, Oh, this thing? Yeah, red, white, and blue, eagle. I know, it's um, American Junior Golf Association. We play in a tournament thrown by my buddy Jimmy Bell in honor of his father who ran Arnold Palmer Industries for many, many years. Oh, that's cool. And we do a tournament, or he does a tournament in, every year to showcase the best juniors in America. In other words, like Tiger Woods, Jordan Spieth have all played this tournament. And it's basically to kind of keep golf alive. Golf has a hard time staying alive right now with Tiger. Well, that's because it's boring as hell. AF? Yes. As you can see, Tori's right. This ground, uh, ground beef is going to brown up pretty quickly. Yep. Now, I'm going to use, I'm, you'll see, usually they tell you, hey, look, just strain this off. Pour it into a strainer, clean your pan, and restart. I do not believe in that because fat is flavor. We're going to have plenty of fat. And look, you're, you're, we're going to put a little stock in here. And I'm going to use a, a little bit of flour and kind of create a little bit of a gravy for mine. Okay. Because usually they tell you just to put the rice in there and the rice will kind of take care of the, the liquid. So what we're gonna do is we're just browning off our, in our cast iron skillet. By the way, if you don't have one of these, absolute must. The 19th is the only one that matters. I don't know what that means. What do you mean the 19th? I don't know, Dan said the 19th is the only one that matters. I was assuming he was talking about something boring golf related that you would understand, like that code speak. Like maybe the 19th hole is the only one that matters? I don't know. Because that's where you get hammered? Maybe. Well, that guy could just be a pathetic drunk. Mm. Oh, hole 19. Yeah, 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 yeah that's there what he was talking about. Smart. How's your week been? Have you been all right? Yeah, my week's been good. We've been busy as yeah. all get out. You got your hair did today. I did get my hair did. Which is good. It looks nice. Um, I did too. It was nice. I, uh, I shaved my own head. And chest. At the same time. But Tori, you didn't have to share that part because that's the part that we keep between ourselves. Oh. We talk about these things. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't seem like you care. You said I had I'm to telling you I have back. a genuine concern about our relationship and all you do is mock me openly <laughs> on television. Why do you do that? I don't know, but they're the, talking about how awesome the cast iron is. Nice. I concur. So you get these, uh, Wasi's Meats has them if you're over there on the, on the coast. If not, believe it or not, you can slide into Old Time Pottery mm -hmm. and they have Lodge cast iron there and you can get them almost any store like has them i think even i think even walmart like has them so you can go in there and grab one lodge season up get a big one don't get a small front there's no reason to, to do that just go ahead and get a, a bite the bullet get a nice size one yeah lisa we have to shave our hairy men oh man you know it's, that is it's I, a it, it's a thing no what man. it is is unnecessary it's I unnecessary you should get laser Oh, you did get laser one time. How was it's that? A, it's a, well, you have to understand the laser thing is a multi 
kind of trip thing. In other words, you have to go a bunch of times. And and how did that feel? Well, it it well it, it, it's not it's not the worst thing in the world. People are like oh god, it's kill your. It's not that bad. I mean, you hear somebody say that. They said manscaping with the eagle. <laughs> See, this is what you start. <laughs> this is what you do to me. Let's chop some onions. What do you say? Yep. Let's watch you. All right. So we're gonna do um we're gonna do two small onions. You could do one medium if you wanted. People love to see me chop veggies, so I'm gonna chop this onion well, for you. What would be a good side with the stuffed bell pepper? Just a salad. Oh, okay. I mean, just honestly, just a little salad. I mean, if you wanted to uh, put an extra veggie on the side, but you have a lot of veggies, we're gonna put zucchini in here. We're gonna put mushrooms in here. You already have the pepper. Okay. You know, so you, if you just want to make a little salad, it'd be great. The fork is back. I went and bought another one. They got a little shipment in. What are you talking about? The fork on the wall that you brought. Oh yeah, got it. Last week. They noticed that for real. Yeah. <laughs> How's the manscape? Um. Why, why are people so fascinated with the way how I uh, shave my pubic hair and whatnot? <gasps> manscape is any kind of uh, uh, shaving. You don't have to talk about that. Well, no, but that's what it is. I mean, we talk about manscaping. You're not talking about how your hair's cut. You don't know what they're talking about. You try to act like you know everybody's life and you don't. <sighs> it's not, Jeff. We're not Can talking I say about something? it anymore. Can I say something to people who are watching the show? Before we go in the air, I she, agree, Robbie. We save our money in the hairnet business. She's the sweetest thing in the world. As soon as we go in the air, <laughs> just the most evil. Ooh. All right, garlic. Uh, so we like to use fresh garlic. He does have a bedazzled thong, Dan. He, I do not have a bedazzled thong. No. So we're going to do two nice sized yeah. cloves of garlic. I'm going to cut that little butt off. Cut that little booty up there. Okay. Be careful if you're doing this. So, have you ever made stuffed bell peppers before? Huh? Has it ever happened before tonight? It has. No, lies. <laughs> why'd you ask me then? If you knew the answer, why would you ask me that? I have not made this recipe of bell peppers before. You, right. you I have made. not made. I have not made this recipe of bell peppers before. Or any recipe. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> That's simply not true. Okay. Why do okay. you get such a giant zucchini? Mm, for Todd. Oh, he's going to be so happy. He's he is. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Todd. Um, nice, for that. nice razzles, Mr. Egg. Thank Great, you. Nice skills, Jim said. Thank you. See how I'm doing that, guys? The... No, 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 no. Show. So you're curling your fingers up? Yeah, so... And when I was doing the garlic a second ago, you can actually use the thing so as you're cutting it. Yeah. Don't worry about, just squeeze your fingers. It'll actually squirt the garlic out to you as you're cutting. Okay. So don't, you know, you don't want to get in there and get yourself in a situation where you're going to cut yourself up. You don't want to do that. So we're just going to do a quick little quarter. That is the home wrecker zucchini. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Marcus zucchini, Daniel. So we're going to quarter this up. Mm -hmm. Zucchini going last. All right, and they have a, they have water, so you have to be careful with these things because, like, if you start adding stock, like we're going to use a little stock in this, but they tell you not to because between the sweating of the peppers, the water in there, and then of course the zucchini, you're going to have quite a bit of water coming out of this, and that's what you know, is going to cook the rice because the rice basically goes in not raw, but not much more than raw, so it goes in basically uh, uncooked, and then the cooking process of getting it up to heat, it soaks in all the flavor of all the vegetables and meat around it, and that's what makes this dish kind of good. The rice actually is like the most important part. Lisa said that's an English cucumber. It could be an English cucumber, but it was labeled zucchini. It's it's a zucchini. It's a Blake Griffin zucchini. Right? That's getting hot. I got you. I'll save your life. Boy. It's popping everywhere. Boy. Okay. Okay. You have to stop bringing up Blake Griffin. <laughs> when you dream, when you dream cheated on me with Blake. You're such a whack of nut. Women have these kind of dreams, not men. And I don't even dream, so you're safe there. Oh, you dream. That's how you got me. <laughs> Jeff loves stuffed bell peppers. Does he really? Yeah. Um, Josh said stop swaying the, oh, swiping the blade on the cutting board. I don't even know what that means. Oh, does that sound bother you, Josh? Is it, <laughs> is it bot? Is that a problem, Josh? Stop, okay. 
Ew, stop. <laughs> Are you wrapping it? I'm about to break it down. Oh, did you see Ross was on uh, on Fox 35 this morning? I did. I saw his, I saw, um, what's his name? Bob Fryer. Bob Fryer. Tweeted our buddy, out. Our buddy Bob. I text Bob and I said, how'd you enjoy that Ross experience? Because Ross is like an alien. He, he's a little awkward. And he's like, loved him. And I was like, I know you would. Because Bob Fryer is like one of the coolest cats ever. Um, he said, um, you're ruining the blade. I'm not ruining the blade. No, he said you Relax. Were. By the way, we're going to be giving, speaking of that blade, coming up soon. Again, if you didn't get a chance, if you're just yeah. tuning in, the jar that we have over here with the pasta that Tori's going to show you in a second. Yeah. Go to ptkradio.com backslash contest. If you guess how many pieces of pasta are, that in, are in there, yep. you register, just put your email in. Now, we're not going to blast or anything like that, but the cool thing is, is you can always use it to contest. We're going to do a lot of contesting, a lot of opportunities to win shoe knives. This contest is for tickets to the Orlando Foodie Awards presented by Orlando Magazine. So, uh, turn the fan on. It stinks. No, we're not doing that. Okay, so here is the jar of noodles it's giant here's my hand i have a big hand for a girl so it's pretty big you want to hold it nope to show them how big it is i don't well okay <laughs> oh yeah here yeah there we go so you guys can kind of big as my melon you got a tiny little pea head i know i do have a small head. it's uncomfortable to <laughs> me so you guys go to ptkradio.com and you register and at eight o'clock if you go to ptkradio.com backslash contest, you can enter one time um, how many you think are in there. The person closest to it can go to the Orlando Sentinel Foodie Awards with us next week. Next yep. Thursday. It's the 19th, so make sure you're available. Absolutely. All right, so we're adding the zucchini. Yep. Okay. Now, cool thing here. Do you want to put corn in here? Put corn in here. Corn? Yeah. It's your, look, these are your stuffed mush or stuffed uh, peppers. If you want to put corn in there, put corn in there. We're going to put a little mushroom in there or something. Okay. And to be honest with you, see that fat? These mushrooms are really good about soaking up liquid and fat. So we're going to let that, and I think they give real good meat body to it. Because this pan has these angled things. Lisa said, try adding meat. So why the zucchini, Todd said? Well, the zucchini just because that's what we want in there. Again, the cool thing about the cool thing about these uh, stuffed peppers is you could like if you want to make one that's like southwestern, you want to put chorizo sausage, hamburger meat, some fennel, and some stuff that really kind of works with that flavor. Do it. You want to put some fresh herbs in here? Do it. You can do whatever you want. Honestly, this is just the basis. He's trying to be bougie. I ain't doing trying to be bougie. Are we doing rice? Yeah, we are, baby. Okay. Um, try adding meatloaf. With rice, um, mm, looks much better than the ground beef and rice only. Oh yeah, that's disgusting. You don't want to do that. Why? <laughs> don't judge people's uh, cooking. Eh, yeah, yeah. Why well, I'm gonna judge a little bit? How about? <laughs> uh, did you rinse the doo doo off the shrooms? Nope, we did not. I like the shrooms doo doo full. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a little, a little salt. Okay. That was necessary. Oh my gosh. I know. Can you believe that happened? Only me. Some pepper. Now, this doesn't call for it. Jacqueline said if you put mushrooms in the sun, it uh, absorbs vitamin D. Is it really? Okay. I wonder what else absorbs vitamin D. Todd. <laughs> Sorry, Todd. I love you, baby. You know I do. Yeah. We're getting a little fresh time. Okay. Now, the guys who are freaking out, don't worry. These stems are never going to be seen. Okay. They'll cook all the way down. I'll look at them. Oh, I didn't put enough stems on that bar. Because I've noticed when I took these things with the stems on, they're going to be just fine. Now, I can, as I kind of go through there, I can pick them out because I just want the flavor in there. But trust me, you're never going to know. All right, people are going to lose their mind over that. Woo! That smells so ridiculously good. Like, I'm okay with just eating this tonight. <laughs> I am. I don't need it to be shoved in a bell pepper. No. All right, so... So what are we doing? Rice. Oh my God, we add the rice right to it? Yeah. Because it's going to cook inside. We're not going to cook the rice separately because it'll take forever. And by the way, the whole idea of this is to have the rice soak up all these beautiful little flavors here. God almighty. Oh my. Honey, I'm telling you, it's this Look pan. Look at my floor. 
Because it depends like a skateboard ramp of mm -hmm. death for these vegetables to escape and leave us forever. Okay, so you add the rice directly to it. That yep. is so crazy. No. That's me. And then the tomatoes. Yep. And what is that? They're just cubes. Yeah, just these yeah. are just this is petite, petite dice. Okay. Petite dice potatoes. Now you're gonna see this is gonna really kind of help bind it up. Okay. Any seasoning besides the thyme? Salt and pepper and thyme. You can put a little. If you want to put a little um, oregano in there, you can. I just like thyme because it's got a, it, it really helps veggies come alive, in my opinion. That's why I use thyme a lot with vegetables, almost exclusively. Now look, look at the background we get with that beautiful green on that on that red now. You okay. know, with the tomatoes. Let's go ahead and incorporate our beef back in. Okay. Feeding and breeding with the eagle. Feeding and breeding. Oh, that sounds that good. That does not sound good. There's <laughs> nothing good about that. Oh, yeah, I showed you guys my toes. Oh, I'm so glad you said toes. I did. I showed them my toes. Okay, now, now look, you can't even see the rice, right? Okay. No, I can't. Okay, good. We're good. Let's turn that off. We'll just let that sit there for a second. Um, okay. Lewis said parsley is good in this as well. Yeah, par you know what I usually, I'm going to do? I'm going to put parsley on the top, Lewis. Okay. So when we get, when we get done, we melt our cheese on it. We're gonna put the parsley right on top. Let's get these up. If you had to describe what thyme tastes like, what what would it taste like to you, or what does it taste like to you? I mean, there is. I mean, there's no way to explain that. It tastes like thyme. I mean, there's really, honestly, no way to do that. It just kind of tastes like the flavor of thyme. It's um, uh, it's a very earthy, herby flavor that is unmistakable. Like when you taste it, you're like, okay, that's like rosemary it has that really kind of vibrant pine flavor to it. You know? Do you have too much thyme on your hands? Do you? You know what the crazy thing is? I saw that coming and still walked directly into it. <laughs> okay, uh, what's parsley taste like? Does it have much of a flavor? No, tar parsley like tastes what you would think like, like what like grass tastes like. It does have a weird, uh, un but it, I will tell you, I was talking to Kathleen Blake from the Rusty Spoon. Yeah. And if you haven't been, you should go. Uh, she is an absolute Orlando legend and a culinary leader for females uh, nationwide. So she is a monster cook and she's a great person. Dave said he's gonna make his stuffed bell peppers for you next time. Okay, that's fine. You can do that. I feel like that is code for something. Now, by the way, if you wanted to cut these before and take these caps, yeah. you can incorporate this in. Matter of fact, some of these recipes call for you to... I don't even know what you're talking about, Kodak Black. Jägermeister's fever dream. Kodak Black. I, no. Somebody named Kodak Black said it don't look good. Kodak Black is a... Um... Is a, an artist, right? <laughs> well, maybe he uh, dipped into our cooking show and All he right. doesn't think your food looks good. All right, that's fine. He didn't have to. I hope he's here, though, because if so, uh, please tweet us out. Go back. Because <laughs> we need some Twitter followers. You know, it'd be nice. Uh, so we're going to just basically, if you can look, Tori. Yeah. We're just taking a spoon, which I found to be the most effective thing. We're going to run. We're going to take that little, that little ridge out, that little pith. You're handling them peppers good. You figured out how to handle them over the years? I mean, I don't eat your peppers. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe I don't know how to handle the peppers. Maybe that's my problem. But it's true. Um, uh, save the caps for stock. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, Jesse wants a bedazzled apron. I got you, Jesse. All right. All right, so we want to clean these out. Okay. And again, all we're doing is just get the pith out of there. The spoon works great. You don't need a knife down there. Because here's the thing. If you get a knife down in there. Is pith a word? Or did you just Yeah, no, no. Out? Pith. P-I-T-H. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I feel like you make up stuff sometimes and then try to convince me that it's correct. No, I do. Okay, so the difference in the color of the peppers, the flavor. We learned um, several months ago that there are actually different flavors and the reds and oranges are a little sweeter. The yellows. Oh, the yellows, okay. Yeah, the yellows are sweeter. Um, uh, the yellows are sweeter and uh, the greens have the most like the pepper flavor that you know like the sweet pepper Okay, and the reds and the oranges taste about the same as this This one actually is a little bit more bitter. The yellow ones are sweet. They have a lot of water in them, too So a lot of people say don't use uh, cast iron on the on the uh, cooktop. Yeah, uh, that's glass Okay, but we know that that's not actually correct. No, right? it, uh, it's, it's really not. I mean you, you right here Oh, yeah, thanks. You're welcome you can use this for sure. We actually want to taste this for which one. What happened? Well. <laughs> what happened? Nothing. Oh my God, I wish I would have gotten that. Mm. Salt. 
You're cleaning that up. Look at that for. You're the worst. Such a mess. It's so bad. And I just burnt the complete hell out of my mouth. <laughs> really cooking here, guys. All right. So we're gonna take our peppers. Okay. Slow get, down. Get a lot Oops. of veggies in there. You know, make sure you have. You're going crazy. Put them in there nice. Call the dogs. Yes, exactly. There we go. Nice shooting tips. Oh, you guys did see it? That's so funny. <laughs> so I terrible. love it. So we nice veggies full, and these are heavy. Yeah, that's a lot. Good. That's a lot of food. You remember, I'm probably putting a cup and a half of this filling in there, and that's a cup and a half like rice and veggies and beef. And these things are great in the fall, but they're also really good in the spring. Use that lean turkey meat we've talked about, like that 90, 97.3 turkey meat. Sounds like a radio station. 97.3 turkey meat. <laughs> and uh, that way you can keep these things very healthy, and you don't even have to use the rice if you don't want. You can use that cauliflower rice. Oh, my God. Todd will not leave the fact that you put zucchini in here alone. He said that he doesn't understand because it doesn't have a lot of flavor, so why would you add it? Well, it, it does have a little bit of flavor, but it also has water, and it adds a little bit of texture in there as well. Now, Robbie said at least you're not using flour, um, and they're asking if you're going to put Parmesan on it now. Nope. So no Parmesan ever? Yeah, we're going to put uh, a cheese mix, which we're going to make here in one second. Okay. But. Oh, the tops for presentation, yes. Okay, what's happening right now? So we're going to put a little bit of water in this pan. <laughs> with all of your uh, droppings? Yeah, with my droppings. So right. why are we doing that? Because what we want to do is we don't want these things to dry out okay. and get all crumpy, and this will help it do that. You don't, need, you don't need that much. And in they go. Now, 350. Now come over here. Let okay. Me, and let me talk. Holy. Tori, I know. Jimmy. Tori. Tori, it won't take you long to clean that up, I promise. <laughs> you, listen, as, as well as you clean, mm. look, use your woman skills. Oh, you now. Sure? I'm not cleaning tonight. <laughs> oh, I'm you're cleaning. You're well, you cleaning. know what, then? The dog's going to treat tonight. <laughs> Beer for you. Thanks, Highlight. What's up, Whopper? Excuse me, Justin Clark. Um, The zucchinis help with the rice um, the rice to cook, right? Because it's yeah, adding they do. moisture. They're gonna, yeah, they're going to add some moisture to it. Nice job, Karen. They are. They're going to add a lot of moisture because zucchinis are, you know, it's like I, mostly water. I, I just want you to continue walking through the mess you made on the floor. That's okay. As much as possible. Why? Are you saying that's going to make you make it harder for you to clean up? Is it? Um, going to make you harder to clean up? <laughs> are you seriously dancing in the garbage on the floor? Yeah. I hope the dogs eat your shoes because okay. they smell like food. So if you remember last week when we were talking about the whole thing with uh, the cheese sauce, when you're making cheese sauces, like you're buying sharp cheese, buy sharp cheese. Okay. This is kind of not the opposite, but this is a totally different idea altogether. Now, and here's why. Okay. When you're making a cheese sauce, you got to remember, you're really diluting the flavor of your cheese. You understand? Because we're making a sauce and we're incorporating cheese into it. Okay. So that's going to dilute the flavor of the cheese. So if you get mild cheese and you try to make a cheese sauce with it, you're really going to have a super faint cheese flavor. Hold if on. you get that extra, extra sharp, you're going to get that real nice bold cheese flavor, yes. Jim said that you could add that filling that you just made into cabbage rolls, and it would be, like, super delicious. You can. As a matter of fact, he's right. You can steam those cabbage leaves. Okay. Right, and then take this, roll it up real tight, strain it off, and then bake them with a little tomato sauce on top. He's 100% right. Okay. 100% right. Cool. All right, so we have our grater. Sorry, I can't help the viewership. That's okay. We have some Colby Jack. It's getting a little um, like choppy because a lot of people are. Oh, there. yeah, sorry. So we have our Colby, back, uh, Colby Jack cheese. So oh. aren't we going to try to go to Twitch in a couple of months? Well, we are going to try to go to Twitch. I mean, we see that Tom and Dan, those guys have a great, great success. But I'm worried about the person, the actual kind of interaction we have with Twitch, though. Because I think that you have two still cameras and you can have a moving camera, but the screens are way smaller. Yeah. And I just want to make sure that everybody, you know, is happy with the, the you know, what we have because we've kind of accustomed to this, you know. Luke's asked this a couple times. How long will you leave it in the oven on 350? Okay, so here's how this goes. I was about to explain that here in a second as we're grating our cheese. Okay. And we are going to put a little parm in here, all right? All right. So we have these two super soft mild cheese, which you have Monterey Jack and you have Colby Jack. And you can see we're going to kind of blend those together. I want yeah. my Colby back, Colby back. I want my Colby back, Colby back. <laughs> a little bit of parm. And the reason we add parm to these mixes is because parm has that beautiful, sharp, nutty flavor that we love so much. Yes, I love parm. Right, parm is the greatest. I mean, good quality Parmesan cheese is hard to beat. Tori and I just eat it, cut it right off the block, and just eat it with wine. It's great. 
So we're gonna let these cook. Now, these cook in two stages. We're gonna cheat a little bit tonight because we've already taken up a lot of time just BSing. Yep, Okay. that's fine. So what you do is you're gonna cook these for like 25, 30 minutes. Now, what you would normally do is put foil over these, okay? So you cover them with foil, bake them for 30 minutes because you don't want the tops browning yet. You pull them out, take the foil off, put our cheese topping on, and then put them right back in yeah. and cook them for about another 15 minutes to melt the cheese down. Man. Wait and then serve. Okay, so while we're doing this, yeah. I want to tell everybody, if you guys go to ptkradio.com and register, mm -hmm. you guys, um, at 8 o'clock, we will have a contest go up that is at ptkradio.com backslash contest, and you can guess... How many of these bad boys are in that. this jar? And Jimmy's holding the jar. The jar's the size of his little tiny head. My little pea head. <laughs> so what we want you to do is, once you register, that you want to register. And the reason why is this, because we're going to be doing a lot of this contesting for shoe knives, tickets to events, uh, Art Smith's homecoming gift certificates for a really cool night out there. So we have tons of stuff coming your way. Uh -huh. And we're going to do some of this cool stuff. Go ahead and get registered now. Mm -hmm. That way you don't have to do it anymore. It's basically three seconds of work. And then submit your guests there. The closest one next Tuesday will tell you, and you're going to win two tickets to um, Orlando Magazines. No. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, the uh, Orlando Sentinels Foodie Awards coming up uh, in next week. It's next Thursday. Next Thursday. And so it's a we'll really cool event. Yeah, we're going to be there. Heather and uh, her husband are going to be there with us. Plus, like, chefs and food and all kinds of cool stuff. So, if you win those, we can go together and have a good time. Jeremy, you're killing me, buddy. Why? Because he keeps guessing. Mm. I haven't counted them yet. I just put them in there. I have yet to count them. Yep. Yes, Jeremy, 69. And we're not going to add any more. We won't do anything else. We're not going to add any more. So, what you see is what you get. That's it. You can't Spread guess until 8 o'clock, guys. Also, if you like the show, please like and share the video. Yep. We really appreciate it. Uh, we, sh we like the show. It's family friendly. Uh, we have friends that tune in with their kids from Mississippi and our friends, the Dennises. You may know them as Tom and Dan Dennis. Yep. I didn't see Daniel on tonight. Oh, I thought you did. I thought mm -hmm. I, uh, already, maybe not. Uh, oh, somebody else. Okay. Cool. So what is this? Oh, we have our cheese mix. So we have a little Colby Jack. We have some Monterey Jack and we have some Parmesan cheese. Yeah. Well, Jimmy gets up at like 4, 15, 4, 20 in the morning. So... We have long Tuesdays. Long Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Yeah, long Tuesdays, but it's no big deal. A lot of people that have a lot longer days than we do, so we're never gonna complain. All right, a couple things. Mike Oliver Homes is a great sponsor of the show. We really, really do appreciate it. Anything home-related, realty-related, get with Mike. He helped us out greatly, and he can do the same thing for you. That's MikeOliverHomes.com. Mm -hmm. Also, our new client is Goldsmith Jewelry. You've heard about us talk about these guys for quite a while on Lee Road. Uh, Mother's Day is coming up. You want to do something very special like I've done for Tori a couple times. She, they actually made my wedding set there for Tori. Love these guys. Known them for a long time. They're good people and they're a local jeweler guys. Well, not only that, he made my necklace. My Florida favorite, Lee. my Florida Lee necklace because I love New Orleans. We're going to take a New Orleans trip with some primetime kitchen people. Yeah, are we really? <laughs> is that a guess in that drawer? <laughs> I've had some wine. We're going to New You're going to stop drinking now. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, thanks, Dave Lair, Gil, those guys over. They're all good people. And, again, we'd love it if you supported them. So go over to Lee Road and find our friends at Goldsmith Jewelry, 407-297-8000 or goldsmithjewelry.com. Okay, can we look at these? Because... We just did. I didn't. Yeah. Okay, can I look at Ready? them? Yeah. Every time we open the oven, you understand it. And it's it's fine. Oh, it's... Why is it shrinking? Well, it's gonna the, the okay. peppers are gonna sweat a little bit, okay. and they're gonna get on the top. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna let those cook for a couple more seconds, okay. and then we're gonna go ahead and put our cheese on there, and we're gonna cook them down so everybody can kind of see what it looks like. Okay, that's perfect. Because once we brown the cheese, uh, oh, that yeah. sounds that sounds odd, doesn't it? When you say brown the cheese, um, is that good or bad? Is browning the I, cheese good? I I don't know. Let's go ahead and it, do that now. What are we doing? We're gonna go ahead and put the cheese on there because you've taken so much time. I've taken so much time. You, you killed the show tonight. <laughs> You destroyed it. And you, honestly, I want to give you enough time to Why clean Why don't it. you just pull the rack out so you don't have to pull it I completely out? I want to give you enough time to clean this kitchen. Because <laughs> I swear you're going to make a mess. Go. Now, look. I'm going to close this up until it stays hot. So we're already starting to see it cooking. You can actually smell the peppers cooking already. Okay. All right. Yep. So imagine this is in for 30 minutes. We Robbie come on. said to brown your head. I agree, Robbie. I tried to put some... <laughs> some self tanner on his head the other day and he was like he would not let me well yeah i don't want to look like a kardashian <laughs> that is not a good look for me kardashian is not a good look for me 
All right, so you can see that really is only about a cup and a half of cheese, so you don't need a ton of this cheese. Is it a good look for them? What? Kardashian. To have me look like them? No. no it's not a good look for them. Them look like them. Oh my goodness, all right, let's get them in there. Um, no, he didn't use instant rice, Ada. I no. No, this is a uh, long grain. You can see it. We had it here a second ago. Oh, they said to put um, panko on top and it'll make it a little crunchy. On no, top. we're not doing that. Okay. But you can do that. We're not going to do that because here's the thing. We, you know, I don't care about that crunch. And a lot of people are like, hey, I'll put it in there for some crunch. And you can do that. You can put panko on top. I feel like you need to drink. You can actually take the panko and mix it with the parm. Yeah. And you can actually do that. You can take the panko, Parmesan cheese, put it right on top, a little bit of butter, mix that all together, make like a, what are, like a almost like a crumble. Okay. And then put it right on top and it'll brown up and it'll give you crunch. I don't like all that bread with rice. I like when things are brown. You mean light brown, like Blake? Griffin? The Maybe. guy you dream cheated with me? <laughs> this is my life, guys. I work, I work, oh my God, what are you doing? I'm eating cheese. I work hard, I come home. You're not in the kitchen by yourself. I am, that's fine. Cheers. Um, Cheers. I'm also not a crunchy top person. Yeah. That's no good. That was Jesse. There is. Yeah. Oh, if people want tamales. Oh, yeah. Holy cow. Go to Tamales and Moss on Facebook, M-A-S, and order them. They're amazing. I've heard. I heard. Now I can't imagine this is true because the, the products are simply. I mean, they're just like. Let me give you an example of how good it is. So Ooh. Heather McPherson's been eating professionally in this city for 35 years. Yeah, because she was the Orlando Sentinel food critic food and critic. food editor for 35 years yeah. for our major newspaper. She is the who's who of Orlando culinary. Yep. When I gave her a tamale from Tamale and Moss, she lost her mind. She she actually looked up and said, "Who made this?" And I said, my buddy, Jesse Loris, she goes, well, this is made how they're supposed to be made. Yeah. And they're all handmade by Jesse and his wife or his wife. Uh, and they're amazing. And I hear he does enchiladas and burritos just as well. So he can cater. It's tamales and moss. Great people. That's you a free what? plug because they're good people. Maybe we'll do a how to say with them and they can show us like not how they make them, but maybe how they wrap them and all that kind of stuff. Oh. I think that would be super fun. Yeah. And Jesse is super integrity because uh, he gets his banana leaves and his leaves that he wraps those up and from one place on the planet. And it's funny when I tell that story, people look up because they're like, well, it could be easier. It would be easier. Like he understands it would be easier, but it's not authentic. And he kind of lives by that world. And if you have, it's about time to order some, by the way. Um, yeah. I, get well, I, told him, I told him I was ordering some this week because we are, are way too busy. And I gotta get um, as well. Too much hair on your arm. On my arm? <laughs> are you guys kidding? For real? Like, that's what you think about? <laughs> Did you say that to Mario Batali before he we went crazy with chicks? Did you say that about Aron Sanchez? <laughs> Do you? Okay, um, the website, I don't know if it crashed or not, but um, the contest is not going to be up until 8 o'clock because we didn't want you guys leaving in the middle of it to go <laughs> try to answer the questions. <laughs> so it's not, um, the ptgayradio.com backslash contest will not be live until 8 o'clock tonight. Yeah. You guys can register now if you really want to leave us. But, um, do not do that. The contest will not be available until 8 o'clock. Yeah, don't do that. Don't leave us. Don't. Don't. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's going to be cool. And we're going to be doing, like, uh, we met the Shoe Knives people at the, uh, at the Sunshine State Egg Fest. And they were the, uh, how cool were they? They were awesome. And we're going to be giving away another Shoe Knife. So we have Shoe Knives coming up. We have, uh, like I said, we have Art Smith Homecoming out mm -hmm. at Disney Springs. We have uh, gift certificates for that, plus a ton of other stuff from our clients. Look, guys, we have a bunch of cool stuff. So stay tuned in. Tell people about it so we can give some stuff away. We're going to do fun stuff like this, other ways for you to win. Let's and put this register over here. online. Okay. All right, let's see what we got here. Now. Okay. Ooh. Oh, now. now. Okay, so the cheese is melted. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit stop, off, royal. Okay. Start. So it's on 500 to brown it up a little bit. So we're going to use the broiler. And you can do that. Again, the cool thing about the cheese is because this is really soft cheese, guys, it's going to melt super fast and it's not going to require a lot of heat. Okay. But we do want that bubbly brown thing on top. <laughs> Keep going. No, I can't because. <laughs> You, you make it so difficult to do this. Sorry. When you, and this you, you've had a bottle of wine. Three. You've got to stop. It's I'm fine. begging. Go ahead. I'm trying to do. Go ahead. Go. Stop. All right, we're going to brown this cheese up. We're going to use this high temperature to do so because the soft cheese melts very easily. 
which means really you could cook these things almost done in the last five minutes. Just blast it like that. The cheese is going to melt. That's all you need to do anyway. Okay. Let's look at it. Oh, Nelly. We gotta get a plate to put those on because we're almost done. I got you. I got I you. Got you go over there. All right. All right. All right. We'll just keep going like this. That's not much noise. Hey, what kind of what kind of plate is that? It's from Target. Do you guys do you guys remember the plates where it had the gold like um, I guess it would be decal around the edge of the plates and the plates were round and they never broke. That's what these are. They just. No decal. Yeah, they're, they're never going to break because they're, uh... Are you looking for the, um, parsley? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. You're probably not going to find it. It's dead. The parsley's dead. But we'll do a little time instead. How's that? I threw it away. Yeah, I understand. All right, so... <clears throat> yeah, the Cornell. They were Cornell plates. Oh, yeah, yeah. With a little gold line. I and love it. You couldn't break them if you tried. I Do it. What? Do the plate. I don't want to break it. You won't. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> we are snazzy. We're bougie at, with our Cornell plates. Mm -hmm. Guys, don't forget to like and share the video if you think. We're making, obviously, you can see the sign, stuffed bell peppers. I'm going to do a little time just to have some color on the plate. You can pull these little leaves off if you want like that. Um, Nice butt shot. Who had a butt shot? Maybe I got your butt, baby. Mm -hmm. You probably do have my butt, baby. <laughs> All right, we're done. Yes, girl. Look at that. Um, he said, Lewis said, what about basil? Could you put basil in there? I wouldn't. All right, why? Because basil has too much. It, honestly, the minute you taste basil, you're like, oh, Italian. Oh. Look at that ridiculousness. So, what we want to do? Yeah. Let's put it on our Cornell plate, Avi. They said wicked, uh, Sean said wicked golf shirt. Thank you. Holy cow. So I would take a little of this fresh thyme. Do we like heat? Yes, we love heat. I love spice. I love Italian too, but not on my uh, bell pepper. I should just put that right on top like that, it'll be fine. All right guys, there you have it. We have our stuffed bell peppers. We have zucchini, hamburger, rice, tomato, a little bit of garlic, mushroom, onion absolutely delicious the cool thing is i can make a pan full of these things seriously i can make 12 of these things look how much filling i have left over and that's with only two pounds of hamburger meat one zucchini two little onions and one can of tomatoes and a cup of rice look how much filling that is i could do four more of those easily freeze them put them in like a, once they're done cool them off thoroughly Put them in a, a bag, put them in a piece of Tupperware, and freeze them. Okay. Throw them all in the oven at a low heat, like 250, so they don't overcook everything. Bring them right back to life, and enjoy your dinner. So, Lewis wants to know how we eat this. He wants to see you eat it. Well, I'm not going to eat it because it's not completely done. We did this for TV tonight because we only kept them in there for a few minutes because the rice is not going to be completely done. But we're going to put them back in when we go off the air Dan at a lower know, temperature, and we're going to cook them all the way through. Dan wants to know if we're going to do an after show tonight. Mm -mm. It'd probably be a good night for us to do an after show. I'm not doing an after Babe, show. Babe, I've had like I know what four you've had. glasses I know. of wine. I'm completely aware. We are good for an after show. Yeah, we're not doing that. So, oh. Oh. so anyway, guys, here, here's what we have. Also, this contest is cool. So, ptkradio.com backslash contest. Go in, register. It takes a few seconds, right? Uh, email address, and then make your guess. The closest one goes with us to the Orlando Sentinel Foodie Awards next Thursday night. It is going to be a blast, like all the food and drink and cool stuff from the best restaurants in the city. Also, a big thank you to our sponsors, Wassie's Meats in Melbourne. They're a presenting sponsor of Primetime Kitchen. Mike Oliver Holmes, that's MikeOliverHolmes.com. Goldsmith Jewelry and our good friends at Porky's Barbecue and Apopka. We're doing a gig there as well. We're gonna make a special dish. We're gonna do some cool stuff. That's coming up a little bit later this summer, yes. Kevin was just making fun of my curtains, but that's fine that's because okay. his name is Kevin and it doesn't matter. Cool. And thank you guys for watching the show tonight. Like and share if you don't mind. These are our stuffed bell peppers. We'll have the recipe up soon. By the way, the shepherd's pie recipe is up and the white cheddar horsey sauce recipe is up at ptkradio.com. Don't forget our two gigs we have coming up. May 24th, we're going to be at the Baron Peacock. Me and Tori doing primetime kitchen trivia with prizes and games. It's going to be a blast right there in Winter Park. Jimmy's showing his tees. Showing my tees all night long. 
great beer in that spot, guys. They're going to have a much bigger role in Primetime Kitchen coming up very soon. And then June 24th at Tapatura down on iDrive, the Spanish Tapas restaurant. That's amazing. By the way, Wendy Lopez just got voted, I believe, the best restaurant, uh, the best chef in the city of Orlando. Oh, She'll no, be cooking brunch myself. for you that day. Yep. And it's going to be amazing. Everything from chicken and waffles to paella and bottomless mimosas, flamenco dancers, and of course, more prizes and games from us here at Prime Time Kitchen. Okay, Lewis said that he didn't want you to actually eat it. He just wants to know how to eat it. Do you scoop it out or do you cut it up? I cut it right down the middle. Oh, okay, so. I seriously, when I get on the plate, I cut it right down the center. It's super so oh yeah. It's and soft. then just cut it apart, because it's, you know, if you let them rest, that rice will actually sit up a little bit. Okay. It'll have some body, all right? All right. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, please like and share the video. We really, really appreciate it. Visit all of our products and listen to Primetime Kitchen uh, Friday night, 8 o'clock. And Sunday mornings, we replay that show at 8. We're going to have a great time this week. We have Fayez Kara sitting in for another week. Yep. And let's see what else we have. Uh, Jim Colbert Show, Fridays on Real Radio, 3 to 7. And the Monsters of the Morning, every single day from 6 until 11. Guys, we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye, right guys. Here. We love you. On Primetime Kitchen 10.